believe unless we are given the like of what was given to God's messengers. God knows best where to place his message. Humiliation from God and severe torment will afflict the criminals for their scheming. 125 Whomever God desires to guide, he spreads open his heart to Islam. And whomever he desires to misguide, he makes his heart narrow, constricted, as though he were climbing up the sky. God thus lays defilement upon those who do not believe. 126 This is the straight path of your Lord. We have explained the revelations in detail for people who recollect. 127 For them is the home of peace with their Lord, and he is their master because of what they used to do. 128 On the day when he gathers them all together, O assembly of jinn, you have exploited multitudes of humans. Their adherents among mankind will say, Our Lord, we have profited from one another, but we have reached the term that you have assigned for us. He will say, The fire is your dwelling, wherein you will remain, except as God wills. Your Lord is wise and informed. 129 Thus we make some of the wrongdoers befriend one another, because of what they used to do. 130 O assembly of jinn and humans, did there not come to you messengers from among you, relating to you my revelations, and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They will say, we testify against ourselves. The life of the world seduced them. They will testify against themselves that they were disbelievers. 131 That is because your Lord would not destroy towns for injustice while their inhabitants are unaware. 132 They all have ranks according to what they did, and your Lord is not unaware of what they do. 133 Your Lord is the rich beyond need, the possessor of mercy. If he wills, he can do away with you, and substitute whomever he wills in your place, just as he produced you from the descendants of another people. 134 What you are promised is coming, and you cannot thwart it. 135 Say, O my people! Work according to your ability, and so will I. You will come to know to whom will belong the sequel of the abode. The wrongdoers will not prevail. 136 And they set aside for God a share of the crops and the livestock he created. 6. Livestock, Alan M., 71 and say, this is for God, according to their claim, and this is for our idols. But the share of their idols does not reach God, yet the share of God reaches their idols. Evil is their judgment. 137. Likewise, their idols entice many idolaters to kill their children, in order to lead them to their ruin, and confuse them in their religion. Had God willed, they would not have done it, so leave them to their fraud. 138 And they say, These animals and crops are restricted. None may eat them except those we permit, by their claims, and animals whose backs are forbidden, and animals over which they do not pronounce the name of God fabricating lies against him. He will repay them for what they used to invent. 139 And they say, what lies in the wombs of these animals is exclusively for our males, and prohibited to our wives. But if it is stillborn, they can share in it. He will surely punish them for their allegations. He is wise and knowing. 140. Lost are those who kill their children foolishly, with no basis in knowledge, and forbid what God has provided for them innovations about God. They have gone astray. They are not guided. 141. It is he who produces gardens, both cultivated and wild, and date palms and crops of diverse tastes, and olives and pomegranates, similar and dissimilar. Eat of its fruit when it yields, and give its due on the day of its harvest, and do not waste. He does not love the wasteful. 142. Among the livestock are some for transportation, and some for clothing. Eat of what God has provided for you, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. He is to you an open enemy. 143 Eight pairs, two of the sheep, and two of the goats. Say, did he forbid the two males, or the two females, or what the wombs of the two females contain? 
inform me with knowledge, if you are truthful. 144 and two of the camels, and two of the cattle. Say, did he forbid the two males, or the two females, or what the wombs of the two females contain? Were you present when God enjoined this upon you? Who does greater wrong than he who invents lies and attributes them to God, in order to mislead people without knowledge? God does not guide the wicked people. 145 Say, in what was revealed to me, I find nothing forbidden to a consumer who eats it, except carrion, or spilled blood, or the flesh of swine because it is impure or a sinful offering dedicated to other than God. But if someone is compelled by necessity, without being deliberate or malicious your Lord is forgiving and merciful. 146 For the Jews we forbade everything with claws. As of cattle and sheep, we forbade them their fat, except what adheres to their backs, or the entrails, or six. Livestock, Alan M., 72 What is mixed with bone? This is how we penalized them for their inequity. We are indeed truthful. 147 If they accuse you of lying, say, Your Lord is possessor of infinite mercy, but his wrath cannot be averted from the guilty people. 148 The polytheists will say, Had God willed, we would not have practiced idolatry, nor would have our forefathers, nor would we have prohibited anything. Likewise those before them lied, until they tasted our might. Say, do you have any knowledge that you can produce for us? You follow nothing but conjecture, and you only guess. 149 Say, to God belongs the conclusive argument. Had he willed, he would have guided you all. 150 Say, produce your witnesses who would testify that God has prohibited this. If they testify, do not testify with them. And do not follow the whims of those who deny our revelation, and those who do not believe in the hereafter, and those who equate others with their Lord. 151 Say, Come, let me tell you what your Lord has forbidden you, that you associate nothing with him, that you honor your parents. That you do not kill your children because of poverty we provide for you and for them, that you do not come near into chenches, whether outward or inward, and that you do not kill the soul which God has sanctified except in the course of justice. All this he has enjoined upon you, so that you may understand. 152 And do not come near the property of the orphan, except with the best intentions, until he reaches maturity. And give full weight and full measure, equitably. We do not burden any soul beyond its capacity. And when you speak, be fair, even if it concerns a close relative. And fulfill your covenant with God. All this he has enjoined upon you, so that you may take heed. 153 This is my path, straight, so follow it. And do not follow the other paths, lest they divert you from his path. All this he has enjoined upon you, that you may refrain from wrongdoing. 154 Then we gave Moses the scripture, perfect for the righteous, and explaining everything clearly, and a beacon, and mercy, that they may believe in the encounter with their Lord. 155. This too is a blessed scripture that we revealed, so follow it, and be righteous, that you may receive mercy. 156. Lest you say, the scripture was revealed only to two parties before us, and we were unaware of their teachings. 157. Or lest you say, had the scripture been revealed to us, we would have been better guided than they. Clarification has come to you from your Lord, and guidance, and mercy. Who, then, does greater wrong than he who gives the lie to God's messages, and turns away from them? We will repay those who turn away from our seven. The elevations, LARAF, 73 messages with the worst kind of punishment, because of their turning away. 158. Are they waiting for anything but for the angels to come to them, or for your Lord to arrive, or for some of your Lord's signs to come? On the day when some of your Lord's signs come, no soul will benefit from its faith unless it had believed previously, or had earned goodness through its faith. Say, wait, we too are waiting. 
159 As for those who divided their religion, and became sects you have nothing to do with them. Their case rests with God, then he will inform them of what they used to do. 160 Whoever comes up with a good deed will have ten times its like, and whoever comes up with an evil deed will be repaid only with its equivalent they will not be wronged. 161 Say, My Lord has guided me to a straight path, an upright religion, the creed of Abraham, the monotheist, and he was no polytheist. 162 Say, My prayer and my worship, and my life and my death, are devoted to God, the Lord of the worlds. 163 No associate has he. Thus I am commanded, and I am the first of those who submit. 164 Say, Am I to seek a Lord other than God, when he is the Lord of all things? No soul gets except what it is due, and no soul bears the burdens of another. Then to your Lord is your return, then he will inform you regarding your disputes. 165 It is he who made you successors on the earth, and raised some of you in ranks over others, in order to test you through what he has given you. Your Lord is quick in retribution, and he is forgiving and merciful. 7 The Elevations, L-A-R-A-F, in the name of God, the Gracious, the Merciful. 1 Olive, Lamb, Meme, Sod. 2 A scripture was revealed to you, so let there be no anxiety in your heart because of it. You are to warn with it and a reminder for the believers. 3 Follow what is revealed to you from your Lord, and do not follow other masters beside him. Little you recollect. For how many cities have we destroyed? Our might came upon them by night, or while they were napping. 5. When our might came upon them, their only cry was, We were indeed wrongdoers. 6. We will question those to whom messengers were sent, and we will question the messengers. 7. We will narrate to them with knowledge, for we were never absent. 7. The Elevations, L-A-R-A-F, 74-8. The scales on that day will be just. Those whose weights are heavy it is they who are the winners. 9 But as for those whose weights are light it is they who have lost their souls, because they used to mistreat our revelations. 10. We have established you firmly on earth, and made for you in it livelihood but rarely do you give thanks. 11 We created you, then we shaped you, then we said to the angels, Bow down before Adam, so they bowed down, except for Satan, he was not of those who bowed down. 12. He said, What prevented you from bowing down when I have commanded you? He said, I am better than he, you created me from fire, and you created him from mud. 13. He said, Get down from it, it is not for you to act arrogantly in it. Get out. You are one of the lowly. 14. He said, Give me respite until the day they are resurrected. 15 He said, You are of those given respite. 16 He said, Because you have lured me, I will waylay them on your straight path. 17 Then I will come at them from before them, and from behind them, and from their right, and from their left, and you will not find most of them appreciative. 18 He said, Get out of it, despised and vanquished. Whoever among them follows you I will fill up hell with you all. 19. And you, Adam, inhabit the garden, you and your wife, and eat whatever you wish, but do not approach this tree, lest you become sinners. 20. But Satan whispered to them, to reveal to them their nakedness, which was invisible to them. He said, Your Lord has only forbidden you this tree, lest you become angels, or become immortals. 21 And he swore to them, I am a sincere advisor to you. 22 So he lured them with deceit. And when they tasted the tree, their nakedness became evident to them, and they began covering themselves with the leaves of the garden. And their Lord called out to them, Did I not forbid you from this tree, and say to you that Satan is a sworn enemy to you? 23 They said, Our Lord, we have done wrong to ourselves. Unless you forgive us, and have mercy on us, we will be among the losers. 24 He said, Fall, some of you enemies to one another. 
on earth you will have residence and livelihood for a while. 25. He said, Therein you will live, and therein you will die, and from it you will be brought out. 26. O children of Adam. We have provided you with clothing to cover your bodies, and for luxury. But the clothing of piety 7. The elevations, LARAF, 75 that is best. These are some of God's revelations, so that they may take heed. 27 O children of Adam. Do not let Satan seduce you, as he drove your parents out of the garden, stripping them of their garments, to show them their nakedness. He sees you, him, and his clan, from where you cannot see them. We have made the devils friends of those who do not believe. 28 And when they commit an indecency, they say, We found our parents doing this, and God has commanded us to do it. Say, God does not command in chanches. Are you attributing to God what you do not know? 29. Say, My Lord commands justice, and to stand devoted at every place of worship. So call upon Him, and dedicate your faith to Him alone. Just as He originated you, so you will return. 30. Some He has guided, and some have deserved misguidance. They have adopted the devils for patrons rather than God, and they assume that they are guided. 31 O children of Adam. Dress properly at every place of worship, and eat and drink, but do not be excessive. He does not love the excessive. 32. Say, who forbade God's finery which he produced for his servants, and the delights of livelihood? Say, they are for those who believe, in this present world, but exclusively theirs on the day of resurrection. We thus detail the revelations for people who know. 33. Say, My Lord has forbidden immoralities both open and secret and sin, and unjustified aggression, and that you associate with God anything for which he revealed no sanction, and that you say about God what you do not know. 34. For every nation is an appointed time. And when their time has come, they cannot delay it by one hour, nor can they advance it. 35. O children of Adam. When messengers from among you come to you, relating to you my revelations whoever practices piety and reforms upon them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. 36. But as for those who reject our revelations, and are too proud to accept them these are the inmates of the fire, where they will remain forever. 37. Who does greater wrong than he who invents lies about God, or denies his revelations? These their share of the decree will reach them until, when our envoys come to them, to take their souls away, they will say, where are they whom you used to pray to besides God? They will say, they have abandoned us, and they will testify against themselves that they were faithless. 38. He will say, join the crowds of jinn and humans who have gone into the fire before you. Every time a crowd enters, it will curse its sister crowd. Until, when they are all in it, the last of them will say to the first of them, Our Lord, these are the ones who misled us, so inflict on them a seven. The elevations, LARAF, 76 double punishment in the fire. He will say, Each will have a double, but you do not know. 39. The first of them will say to the last of them, You have no advantage over us, so taste the torment for what you used to earn. 40. Those who reject our revelations and are too arrogant to uphold them the doors of heaven will not be opened for them, nor will they enter paradise, until the camel passes through the eye of the needle. Thus we repay the guilty. 41. For them is a couch of hell, and above them are sheets of fire. Thus we repay the wrongdoers. 42. As for those who believe and do righteous works we never burden any soul beyond its capacity these are the inhabitants of the garden, abiding therein eternally. 43. We will remove whatever rancor is in their hearts. Rivers will flow beneath them. And they will say, Praise be to God, who has guided us to this. Had God not guided us, we would never be guided. The messengers of our Lord did come with the truth. And it will be proclaimed to them, This is the garden you are made to inherit, on account of what you used to do. 
44 And the inhabitants of the garden will call out to the inmates of the fire, We have found what our Lord promised us to be true. Did you find what your Lord promised you to be true? They will say, Yes. Thereupon a caller will announce in their midst, The curse of God is upon the wrongdoers. 45 Those who hinder from the path of God, and seek to distort it, and who deny the hereafter. 46 And between them is a partition, and on the elevations are men who recognize everyone by their features. And they will call to the inhabitants of the garden, Peace be upon you. They have not entered it, but they are hoping. 47 And when their eyes are directed towards the inmates of the fire, they will say, Our Lord, do not place us among the wrongdoing people. 48 And the dwellers of the elevations will call to men they recognize by their features, saying, Your hoardings did not avail you, nor did your arrogance. 49 Are these the ones you swore God will not touch with mercy? Enter the garden, you have nothing to fear, and you will not grieve. 50 The inmates of the fire will call on the inhabitants of the garden, pour some water over us, or some of what God has provided for you. They will say, God has forbidden them for the disbelievers. 51 Those who took their religion lightly, and in jest, and whom the worldly life deceived. Today we will ignore them, as they ignored the meeting on this day of theirs, and they used to deny our revelations. 7. The Elevations, Laraf, 7752. We have given them a scripture, which we detailed with knowledge guidance and mercy for people who believe. 53 Are they waiting for anything but its fulfillment? The day its fulfillment comes true, those who disregarded it before will say, The messengers of our Lord did come with the truth. Have we any intercessors to intercede for us? Or, could we be sent back, to behave differently from the way we behaved before? They ruined their souls, and what they used to invent has failed them. 54 Your Lord is God, He who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then established Himself on the throne. The night overtakes the day, as it pursues it persistently. And the sun, and the moon, and the stars are subservient by his command. His is the creation, and his is the command. Blessed is God, Lord of all beings. 55 Call upon your Lord humbly and privately. He does not love the aggressors. 56 And do not corrupt on earth after its reformation, and pray to him with fear and hope. God's mercy is close to the doers of good. 57 It is he who sends the wind ahead of his mercy. Then, when they have gathered up heavy clouds, we drive them to a dead land, where we make water come down, and with it we bring out all kinds of fruits. Thus we bring out the dead perhaps you will reflect. 58 As for the good land, it yields its produce by the leave of its Lord. But as for the bad, it produces nothing but hardship and misery. Thus we explain the revelations in various ways for people who are thankful. 59 We sent Noah to his people. He said, O oh my people, worship God, you have no God other than him. I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. 60 The dignitaries among his people said, We see that you are in obvious error. 61 He said, O oh my people, I am not in error, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. 62 I deliver to you the messages of my Lord, and I advise you, and I know from God what you do not know. 63 Do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your Lord, through a man from among you, to warn you, and to lead you to righteousness, so that you may attain mercy? 64 But they called him a liar. So we saved him and those with him in the ark, and we drowned those who rejected our revelations. They were blind people. 65 And to Iod, their brother Hud. He said, O oh my people, worship God, you have no God other than him. Will you not take heed? 66 The elite of his people who disbelieved said, We see foolishness in you, and we think that you are a liar. 7 The Elevations, Laraf, 7867 He said, O oh my people, there is no foolishness in me, 
but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. 68. I convey to you the messages of my Lord, and I am a trustworthy advisor to you. 69. Are you surprised that a reminder has come to you from your Lord, through a man from among you, to warn you? Remember how he made you successors after the people of Noah, and increased you greatly in stature. And remember God's blessings, so that you may prosper. 70 They said, Did you come to us to make us worship God alone, and abandon what our ancestors used to worship? Then bring us what you threaten us with, if you are truthful. 71 He said, Condemnation and wrath have befallen you from your Lord. Are you arguing with me over names, which you and your ancestors invented, for which God sent down no authority? Just wait, I am waiting with you. 72. So we saved him and those with him, by mercy from us, and we cut off the roots of those who rejected our revelations and were not believers. 73 And to Tamud, their brother Saleh. He said, O my people, worship God you have no God other than him. Clarification has come to you from your Lord. This she-camel of God is a sign for you. So leave her to graze on God's earth, and do her no harm, lest a painful penalty seizes you. 74 And remember how he made you successors after Iod, and settled you in the land. You make for yourselves mansions on its plains, and carve out dwellings in the mountains. So remember God's benefits, and do not roam the earth corruptingly. 75. The elite of his people, who were arrogant, said to the common people who had believed, Do you know that Sally is sent from his Lord? They said, We are believers in what he was sent with. 76. Those who were arrogant said, We reject what you believe in. 77. So they hamstrung the she camel, and defied the command of their Lord, and said, O oh Sally, Bring upon us what you threaten us with, if you are one of the messengers. 78 Whereupon the quake overtook them, and they became lifeless bodies in their homes. 79 Then he turned away from them, and said, O oh my people, I have delivered to you the message of my Lord, and I have advised you, but you do not like those who give advice. 80 And Lot, when he said to his people, do you commit lewdness no people anywhere have ever committed before you. 81. You lust after men rather than women. You are an excessive people. 82 And his people's only answer was to say, Expel them from your town. They are purest people. 7. The Elevations, Laraf, 7983. But we saved him and his family, except for his wife. She was of those who lagged behind. 84 And we rained down on them a rain, note the consequences for the sinners. 85 And to Median, their brother Shuab. He said, O oh my people, worship God, you have no God other than him. A clear proof has come to you from your Lord. Give full measure and wait, and do not cheat people out of their rights, and do not corrupt the land once it has been set right. This is better for you, if you are believers. 86. And do not lurk on every path, making threats, and turning away from the path of God those who believe in him, seeking to distort it. And remember how you were few, and how he made you numerous. So note the consequences for the corruptors. 87. Since some of you believed in what I was sent with, and some did not believe, be patient until God judges between us, for he is the best of judges. 88. The arrogant elite among his people said, O Shuaib, we will evict you from our town, along with those who believe with you, unless you return to our religion. He said, Even if we are unwilling. 89. We would be fabricating falsehood against God, if we were to return to your religion, after God has saved us from it. It is not for us to return to it, unless God, our Lord, wills. Our Lord embraces all things in knowledge. In God we place our trust. Our Lord, decide between us and our people in truth, for you are the best of deciders. 90 The elite of his people who disbelieved said, If you follow Shuaib, you will be losers. 91 Thereupon, 
the quake struck them, and they became lifeless bodies in their homes. 92. Those who rejected Shu'ab as if they never prospered therein. Those who rejected Shu'ab it was they who were the losers. 93. So he turned away from them, and said, O my people, I have delivered to you the messages of my Lord, and I have advised you, so why should I grieve over a disbelieving people? 94. We did not send any prophet to any town but we afflicted its people with misery and adversity, so that they may humble themselves. 95 Then we substituted prosperity in place of hardship. Until they increased in number, and said, Adversity and prosperity has touched our ancestors. Then we seized them suddenly, while they were unaware. 96 Had the people of the towns believed and turned righteous, we would have opened for them the blessings of the heaven and the earth, but they rejected the truth, so we seized them by what they were doing. 97. Do the people of the towns feel secure that our might will not come upon them by night, while they sleep? 7. The Elevations, LARAF, 8098. Do the people of the towns feel secure that our might will not come upon them by day, while they play? 99. Do they feel safe from God's plan? None feel safe from God's plan except the losing people. 100. Is it not guidance for those who inherit the land after its inhabitants, that if we willed, we could strike them for their sins? And seal up their hearts, so that they would not hear? 101. These towns we narrate to you some of their tales. Their messengers came to them with the clear signs, but they would not believe in what they had rejected previously. Thus God seals the hearts of the disbelievers. 102 We found most of them untrue to their covenants. We found most of them corrupt. 103 Then, after them, we sent Moses with our miracles to Pharaoh and his establishment, but they denounced them. So consider the end of the evildoers. 104 Moses said, O Pharaoh, I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. 105 it is only proper that I should not say about God anything other than the truth. I have come to you with clear evidence from your Lord, so let the children of Israel go with me. 106 He said, If you brought a miracle, then present it, if you are truthful. 107 So he threw his staff, and it was an apparent serpent. 108 And he pulled out his hand, and it was white to the onlookers. 109 The notables among Pharaoh's people said, This is really a skilled magician. 110 He wants to evict you from your land, so what do you recommend? 111 They said, Put him off, and his brother, and send heralds to the cities. 112 And let them bring every skillful magician. 113 The magicians came to Pharaoh, and said, Surely there is a reward for us, if we are the victors. 114 He said, Yes, and you will be among my favorites. 115 They said, O oh Moses, either you throw, or we are the ones to throw. 116 He said, You throw. And when they threw, they beguiled the eyes of the people, and intimidated them, and produced a mighty magic. 117. And we inspired Moses, throw your staff, and at once, it swallowed what they were faking. 118. So the truth came to pass, and what they were producing came to nothing. 119. There they were defeated, and utterly reduced. 120. And the magicians fell to their knees. 121. They said, We have believed in the Lord of the worlds. 7 The Elevations, LARAF, 81 122. The Lord of Moses and Aaron. 123 Pharaoh said, Did you believe in him before I have given you permission? This is surely a conspiracy you schemed in the city, in order to expel its people from it. You will surely know. 124 I will cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, then I will crucify you all. 125 They said, It is to our Lord that we will return. 126 
you are taking vengeance on us only because we have believed in the signs of our Lord when they have come to us. Our Lord, pour out patience upon us, and receive our souls in submission. 127. The chiefs of Pharaoh's people said, Will you let Moses and his people cause trouble in the land, and forsake you and your gods? He said, We will kill their sons, and spare their women. We have absolute power over them. 128 Moses said to his people, Seek help in God, and be patient. The earth belongs to God. He gives it in inheritance to whomever he wills of his servants, and the future belongs to the righteous. 129 They said, We were persecuted before you came to us, and after you came to us. He said, Perhaps your Lord will destroy your enemy, and make you successors in the land, then he will see how you behave. 130 And we afflicted the people of Pharaoh with barren years, and shortage of crops, that they may take heed. 131 When something good came their way, they said, This is ours, and when something bad happened to them, they ascribed the evil omen to Moses and those with him. In fact, their omen is with God, but most of them do not know. 132 And they said, no matter what sign you bring us, to bewitch us with, we will not believe in you. 133 So we let loose upon them the flood, and the locusts, and the lice, and the frogs, and blood all explicit signs but they were too arrogant. They were a sinful people. 134 Whenever a plague befell them, they would say, O Moses, pray to your Lord for us, according to the covenant he made with you. If you lift the plague from us, we will believe in you, and let the children of Israel go with you. 135. But when we lifted the plague from them, for a term they were to fulfill, they broke their promise. 136. So we took vengeance on them, and drowned them in the sea because they rejected our signs, and paid no heed to them. 137. And we made the oppressed people inherit the eastern and western parts of the land, which we had blessed. Thus the fair promise of your Lord to the children of Israel was fulfilled, because of their N7. The elevations, LARAF, 82 Durance. And we destroyed what Pharaoh and his people had built, and what they had harvested. 138 And we delivered the children of Israel across the sea. And when they came upon a people who were devoted to some statues of theirs, they said, O Moses, make for us a god, as they have gods. He said, You are truly an ignorant people. 139 What these people are concerned with is perdition, and their deeds are based on falsehoods. 140 He said, Shall I seek for you a god other than God, when he has favored you over all other people? 141 Remember how we saved you from Pharaoh's people, who subjected you to the worst of sufferings killing your sons and sparing your women. In that was a tremendous trial from your Lord. 142 And we appointed to Moses thirty nights, and completed them with ten. And thus the time appointed by his Lord was forty nights. And Moses said to his brother Aaron, Take my place among my people, and be upright, and do not follow the way of the mischief makers. 143. And when Moses came to our appointment, and his Lord spoke to him, he said, My Lord, allow me to look and see you. He said, You will not see me, but look at the mountain, if it stays in its place, you will see me. But when his Lord manifested himself to the mountain, he turned it into dust, and Moses fell down unconscious. Then, when he recovered, he said, Glory be to you, I repent to you, and I am the first of the believers. 144. He said, O Moses, I have chosen you above all people for my messages and for my words. So take what I have given you, and be one of the thankful. 145. And we inscribed for him in the tablets all kinds of enlightenments, and decisive explanation of all things. Hold fast to them and exhort your people to adopt the best of them. I will show you the fate of the sinners. 
146 I will turn away from my revelations those who behave proudly on earth without justification. Even if they see every sign, they will not believe in it. And if they see the path of rectitude, they will not adopt it for a path, and if they see the path of error, they will adopt it for a path. That is because they denied our revelations, and paid no attention to them. 147. Those who deny our revelations and the meeting of the hereafter their deeds will come to nothing. Will they be repaid except according to what they used to do? 148 In his absence, the people of Moses adopted a calf made from their ornaments a body which load. Did they not see that it could not speak to them, nor guide them in any way? They took it for worship. They were in the wrong. 149 Then, when they regretted, and realized that they had erred, they said, Unless our Lord extends his mercy to us, and forgives us, we will be among the losers. 7 The Elevations, LARAF, 83 150 And when Moses returned to his people, angry and disappointed, he said, What an awful thing you did in my absence! Did you forsake the commandments of your Lord so hastily? And he threw down the tablets, and took hold of his brother's head, dragging him towards himself. He said, Son of my mother, the people have overpowered me, and were about to kill me, so do not allow the enemies to gloat over me, and do not count me among the unjust people. 151. He said, My Lord, forgive me and my brother, and admit us into your mercy, for you are the most merciful of the merciful. 152 Those who idolized the calf have incurred wrath from their Lord, and humiliation in this life. We thus requite the innovators. 153 As for those who commit sins, and then repent afterwards and believe your Lord, thereafter, is forgiving and merciful. 154 When the anger abetted in Moses, he took up the tablets. In their transcript is guidance and mercy for those in awe of their Lord. 155. And Moses chose from his people seventy men for our appointment. When the tremor shook them, he said, My Lord, had you willed, you could have destroyed them before, and me too. Will you destroy us for what the fools among us have done? This is but your test with it you misguide whomever you will, and you guide whomever you will. You are our protector, so forgive us, and have mercy on us. You are the best of forgivers. 156 And inscribe for us goodness in this world, and in the hereafter. We have turned to you. He said, My punishment I inflicted upon whomever I will, but my mercy encompasses all things. I will specify it for those who act righteously and practice regular charity, and those who believe in our signs. 157. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find mentioned in the Torah and the Gospel in their possession. He directs them to righteousness, and deters them from evil, and allows for them all good things, and prohibits for them wickedness, and unloads the burdens and the shackles that are upon them. Those who believe in him, and respect him, and support him, and follow the light that came down with him these are the successful. 158 say, O people, I am the messenger of God to you all he to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. There is no God but he. He gives life and causes death. So believe in God and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, who believes in God and his words. And follow him, that you may be guided. 159 Among the people of Moses is a community that guides by truth, and thereby does justice. 160 we divided them into twelve tribal communities. And we inspired Moses, 7. The Elevations, LARAF, 84 When his people asked him for something to drink, strike the rock with your staff. Whereupon twelve springs gushed from it. Each group recognized its drinking place. And we shaded them with clouds, and sent down upon them manna and quails, eat of the good things we have provided for you. They did not wrong us, but they used to wrong their own selves. 161. And it was said to them, Settle this town, 
and eat therein whatever you wish, and speak modestly, and enter the gate in humility we will forgive your sins, and will promote the righteous. 162. But the wicked among them substituted other words for the words given to them, so we sent down upon them a plague from the sky, because of their wrongdoing. 163 Ask them about the town by the sea, when they violated the Sabbath. When they observed the Sabbath, their fish would come to them abundantly. But when they violated the Sabbath, their fish would not come. Thus we tried them because they disobeyed. 164. And when a group of them said, Why do you counsel a people whom God will annihilate, or punish with a severe punishment? They said, as an excuse to your Lord, and so that they may become righteous. 165. Then, when they neglected what they were reminded of, we saved those who prohibited evil, and we seized those who did wrong with a terrible punishment, because of their sinfulness. 166. Then, when they rebelled against the commands to refrain, we said to them, Be despicable apes. 167. Your Lord has announced that, He would send against them, until the day of resurrection, those who would inflict terrible suffering upon them. Your Lord is swift in retribution, yet He is forgiving and merciful. 168 And we scattered them into communities on earth. Some of them righteous, and some of them short of that. And we tested them with fortunes and misfortunes, so that they may return. 169 They were succeeded by generations who inherited the scripture and chose the materials of this world, saying, We will be forgiven. And should similar materials come their way, they would again seize them. Did they not make a covenant to uphold the scripture, and to not say about God except the truth? Did they not study its contents? But the home of the hereafter is better for the cautious, will you not understand? 170. Those who adhere to the scripture, and practice prayer we will not waste the reward of the reformers. 171. And when we suspended the mountain over them, as if it was an umbrella, and they thought it would fall on them, hold fast to what we have given you, and remember what it contains, so that you may be saved. 7. The Elevations, LARAF, 85172. And when your Lord summoned the descendants of Adam, and made them testify about themselves. Am I not your Lord? They said, Yes, we testify. Thus you cannot say on the day of resurrection, We were unaware of this. 173 Nor can you say, Our ancestors practiced idolatry before. And we are their descendants who came after them, Will you destroy us for what the falsifiers did? 174 We thus elaborate the revelations, so that they may return. 175 And relate to them the story of him to whom we delivered our signs, but he detached himself from them, so Satan went after him, and he became one of the perverts. 176 Had we willed, we could have elevated him through them, but he clung to the ground, and followed his desires. His metaphor is that of a dog. If you chase it, it pants, and if you leave it alone, it pants. Such is the metaphor of the people who deny our signs. So tell the tale, so that they may ponder. 177 Evil is the metaphor of the people who reject our signs and wrong themselves. 178 Whomever God guides is the guided one. And whomever he sends astray these are the losers. 179 We have destined for hell multitudes of jinn and humans. They have hearts with which they do not understand. They have eyes with which they do not see. They have ears with which they do not hear. These are like cattle. In fact, they are further astray. These are the heedless. 180 To God belong the most beautiful names, so call him by them, and disregard those who blaspheme his names they will be repaid for what they used to do. 181. Among those we created is a community they guide by truth, and do justice thereby. 182. As for those who reject our messages, we will gradually lead them from where they do not know. 
183 and I will encourage them. My plan is firm. 184 Do they not think? There is no madness in their friend. He is but a plain warner. 185 Have they not observed the government of the heavens and the earth, and all the things that God created, and that their time may have drawn near? Which message, besides this, will they believe in? 186 Whomever God misguides has no guide. And he leaves them blundering in their transgression. 187 They ask you about the hour, when will it come? Say, knowledge of it rests with my Lord. None can reveal its coming except he. It weighs heavily on the heavens and the earth. It will not come upon you except suddenly. They ask you as if you are responsible for it. Say, knowledge of it rests with God, but most people do not know. 7 The Elevations, LARAF, 86188. Say, I have no control over any benefit or harm to myself, except as God wills. Had I known the future, I would have acquired much good, and no harm would have touched me. I am only a warner, and a herald of good news to a people who believe. 189 It is he who created you from a single person, and made from it its mate, that he may find comfort with her. Then, when he has covered her, she conceives a light load, and she carries it around. But when she has grown heavy, they pray to God their Lord, if you give us a good child, we will be among the thankful. 190. But when he has given them a good child, they attribute partners to him in what he has given them. God is exalted above what they associate. 191. Do they idolize those who create nothing, and are themselves created? 192. And can neither help them, nor help their own selves. 193. And if you invite them to guidance, they will not follow you. It is the same for you, whether you invite them, or remain silent. 194 Those you call upon besides God are servants like you. So call upon them, and let them answer you, if you are truthful. 195. Do they have feet with which they walk? Or do they have hands with which they strike? Or do they have eyes with which they see? Or do they have ears with which they hear? Say, call upon your partners, then plot against me, and do not wait. 196. My master is God, he who sent down the book, and he takes care of the righteous. 197. Those you call upon besides him cannot help you, nor can they help themselves. 198. And if you call them to guidance, they will not hear. And you see them looking at you, yet they do not see. 199. Be tolerant, and command decency, and avoid the ignorant. 200. And when a suggestion from Satan assails you, take refuge with God. He is hearing and knowing. 201. Those who are righteous, when an impulse from Satan strikes them, they remind themselves, and immediately see clearly. 202. But their brethren lead them relentlessly into error, and they never stop short. 203. If you do not produce a miracle for them, they say, why don't you improvise one? Say, I only follow what is inspired to me from my Lord. These are insights from your Lord, and guidance, and mercy, for a people who believe. 204. When the Quran is recited, listen to it, and pay attention, so that you may experience mercy. 205. And remember your Lord within yourself, humbly and fearfully, and quiet it. The spoils, Alanful, 87 Li, in the morning and the evening, and do not be of the neglectful. 206 Those who are in the presence of your Lord are not too proud to worship Him. They recite His praises, and to Him they bow down. 8. The spoils, Alanful, in the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. 1. They ask you about the bounties. Say, the bounties are for God and the messenger. So be mindful of God, and settle your differences, and obey God and His messenger, if you are believers. 2. 
the believers are those whose hearts tremble when God is mentioned, and when his revelations are recited to them, they strengthen them in faith, and upon their Lord they rely. 3. Those who perform the prayer, and from our provisions to them, they spend. 4. These are the true believers. They have high standing with their Lord, and forgiveness, and a generous provision. 5. Even as your Lord brought you out of your home with the truth, some believers were reluctant. 6. Arguing with you about the truth after it was made clear, as if they were being driven to death as they looked on. 7. God has promised you one of the two groups that it would be yours but you wanted the unarmed group to be yours. God intends to prove the truth with his words, and to uproot the disbelievers. 8. In order to confirm the truth and nullify falsehood, even though the guilty dislike it. 9. When you appealed to your Lord for help, he answered you, I am reinforcing you with 1,000 angels in succession. 10. God only made it a message of hope, to set your hearts at rest. Victory comes only from God. God is mighty and wise. 11. He made drowsiness overcome you, as a security from him. And he sent down upon you water from the sky, to cleanse you with it, and to rid you of Satan's pollution, and to fortify your hearts, and to strengthen your foothold. 12. Your Lord inspired the angels, I am with you, so support those who believe. I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. So strike above the necks, and strike off every fingertip of theirs. 13. That is because they opposed God and his messenger. Whoever opposes God and his messenger God is severe in retribution. 14. Here it is, so taste it. For the disbelievers there is the suffering of the fire. 15. O oh you who believe. When you meet those who disbelieve on the march, never turn your backs on them. 16. Anyone who turns his back on them on that day, except while maneuvering for aid. The spoils, Alanful, 88 battle, or to join another group, has incurred wrath from God, and his abode is hell what a miserable destination. 17. It was not you who killed them, but it was God who killed them. And it was not you who launched when you launched, but it was God who launched. That he may bestow upon the believers an excellent reward. God is hearing and knowing. 18. Such is the case. God will undermine the strategy of the disbelievers. 19. If you desire a verdict, the verdict has come to you. If you desist, it would be best for you. If you return, we will return. And your troops, however numerous, will not benefit you. God is with the believers. 20. O oh you who believe. Obey God and his messenger, and do not turn away from him when you hear. 21. And be not like those who say, we hear, when they do not hear. 22. The worst of animals to God are the deaf and dumb those who do not reason. 23. Had God recognized any good in them, he would have made them hear, and had he made them hear, they would have turned away defiantly. 24. O oh you who believe. Respond to God and to the messenger when he calls you to what will revive you. And know that God stands between a man and his heart, and that to him you will be gathered. 25. And beware of discord which does not afflict the wrongdoers among you exclusively. And know that God is severe in retribution. 26. And remember when you were few, oppressed in the land, fearing that people may capture you, but he sheltered you, and supported you with his victory, and provided you with good things so that you may be thankful. 27. O oh you who believe. Do not betray God and the messenger, nor betray your trusts, while you know. 28. And know that your possessions and your children are a test, and that God possesses an immense reward. 29. O oh you who believe. If you remain conscious of God, he will give you a criterion, and remit from you your sins, and forgive you. God is possessor of infinite grace. 30. When the disbelievers plotted against you, to imprison you, or kill you, or expel you. They planned, and God planned, but God is the best of planners. 31. And when our revelations are recited to them, they say, we have heard. Had we wanted, we could have said the like of this, these are nothing but myths of the ancients. 32. And they said, our God, 
if this is the truth from you, then rain down on us stones from the sky, or visit us with a painful affliction. 33 But God would not punish them while you are amongst them. And God would not punish them as long as they seek forgiveness. 8. The spoils, Alanful, 8934. Yet why should God not punish them, when they are turning others away from the sacred mosque, although they are not its custodians? Its rightful custodians are the pious, but most of them do not know. 35. Their prayer at the house was nothing but whistling and clapping so taste the punishment for your blasphemy. 36 Those who disbelieve spend their wealth to repel from God's path. They will spend it, then it will become a source of sorrow for them, and then they will be defeated. Those who disbelieve will be herded into hell. 37 That God may distinguish the bad from the good, and heap the bad on top of one another, and pile them together, and throw them in hell. These are the losers. 38 Say to those who disbelieve, if they desist, their past will be forgiven. But if they persist the practice of the ancients has passed away. 39 Fight them until there is no more persecution, and religion becomes exclusively for God. But if they desist God is seeing of what they do. 40 And if they turn away, know that God is your protector. The best protector, and the best supporter. 41. And know that whatever spoils you gain, to God belongs its fifth, and to the messenger, and the relatives, and the orphans, and the poor, and to the wayfarer, provided you believe in God and in what we revealed to our servant on the day of distinction, the day when the two armies met. God is capable of everything. 42. Recall when you were on the nearer bank, and they were on the further bank, and the caravan was below you. Had you planned for this meeting, you would have disagreed on the timing, but God was to carry out a predetermined matter, so that those who perish would perish by clear evidence, and those who survive would survive by clear evidence. God is hearing and knowing. 43. God made them appear in your dream as few. Had he made them appear as many, you would have lost heart, and disputed in the matter. But God saved the situation. He knows what the hearts contain. 44. When you met, he made them appear as few in your eyes, and made you appear fewer in their eyes, so that God may conclude a predetermined matter. To God all matters revert. 45. O oh you who believe. When you meet a force, stand firm and remember God much, so that you may prevail. 46. And obey God and his messenger, and do not dispute lest you falter and lose your courage. And be steadfast. God is with the steadfast. 47 And do not be like those who left their homes boastfully, showing off before the people, and barring others from the path of God. God comprehends what they do. 8 The spoils, Alanful, 9048. Satan made their deeds appear good to them, and said, You cannot be defeated by any people today, and I am at your side. But when the two armies came in sight of one another, he turned on his heels, and said, I am innocent of you, I see what you do not see, I fear God, God is severe in punishment. 49 The hypocrites and those in whose hearts is sickness said, Their religion has deluded these people. But whoever puts his trust in God God is mighty and wise. 50 If only you could see, as the angels take away those who disbelieve, striking their faces and their backs, taste the agony of the burning. 51. That is because of what your hands have committed, and because God is not unjust to the servants. 52. Like the behavior of the people of Pharaoh, and those before them. They rejected the signs of God, so God seized them for their sins. God is powerful, severe in punishment. 53. That is because God would never change a blessing he has bestowed on a people unless they change what is within themselves, and because God is hearing and knowing. 54 Such was the case with the people of Pharaoh, and those before them. They denied the signs of their Lord, so we annihilated them for their wrongs, and we drowned the people of Pharaoh they were all evildoers. 55 The worst of creatures in God's view are those who disbelieve. They have no faith. 
56. Those of them with whom you made a treaty, but they violate their agreement every time. They are not righteous. 57. If you confront them in battle, make of them a fearsome example for those who follow them, that they may take heed. 58. If you fear treachery on the part of a people, break off with them in a like manner. God does not like the treacherous. 59. Let not the disbelievers assume that they are ahead. They will not escape. 60. And prepare against them all the power you can muster, and all the cavalry you can mobilize, to terrify thereby God's enemies and your enemies, and others besides them whom you do not know, but God knows them. Whatever you spend in God's way will be repaid to you in full, and you will not be wronged. 61 But if they incline towards peace, then incline towards it, and put your trust in God. He is the hearer, the knower. 62 If they intend to deceive you God is sufficient for you. It is he who supported you with his aid, and with the believers. 63 And he united their hearts. Had you spent everything on earth, you would not have united their hearts, but God united them together. He is mighty and wise. 64 O Prophet! Count on God, and on the believers who have followed you. 9 Repentance, at Taba, 91 65. O Prophet! Rouse the believers to battle. If there are twenty steadfast among you, they will defeat two hundred, and if there are a hundred of you, they will defeat a thousand of those who disbelieve. Because they are a people who do not understand. 66 God has now lightened your burden, knowing that there is weakness in you. If there are a hundred steadfast among you, they will defeat two hundred, and if there are a thousand of you, they will defeat two thousand by God's leave. God is with the steadfast. 67 It is not for a prophet to take prisoners before he has subdued the land. You desire the materials of this world, but God desires the hereafter. God is strong and wise. 68. Were it not for a predetermined decree from God, an awful punishment would have afflicted you for what you have taken. 69. So consume what you have gained, legitimate and wholesome, and remain conscious of God. God is forgiving and merciful. 70. O Prophet. Say to those you hold prisoners, if God finds any good in your hearts, he will give you better than what was taken from you, and he will forgive you. God is forgiving and merciful. 71 But if they intend to betray you, they have already betrayed God, and he has overpowered them. God is knowing and wise. 72 Those who believed, and emigrated, and struggled in God's cause with their possessions and their persons, and those who provided shelter and support these are allies of one another. As for those who believed, but did not emigrate, you owe them no protection, until they have emigrated. But if they ask you for help in religion, you must come to their aid, except against a people with whom you have a treaty. God is seeing of what you do. 73. As for those who disbelieve, they are allies of one another. Unless you do this, there will be turmoil in the land, and much corruption. 74 Those who believed, and emigrated, and struggled for God's cause, and those who gave shelter and support these are the true believers. They will have forgiveness, and a bountiful provision. 75 As for those who believed afterwards, and emigrated and struggled with you these belong with you. But family members are nearer to one another in the book of God. God is cognizant of everything. 9 Repentance, at Taba, 1 a declaration of immunity from God and his messenger to the polytheists with whom you had made a treaty. To so travel the land for four months, and know that you cannot escape God, and that God will disgrace the disbelievers. 9. Repentance, at Taba, 92.3 And a proclamation from God and his messenger to the people on the day of the greater pilgrimage, that God has disowned the polytheists, and so did his messenger. If you repent, it will be better for you. But if you turn away, know that you cannot escape God. And announce to those who disbelieve a painful punishment. For except for those among the polytheists with whom you had made a treaty, and did not violate any of its terms, nor aided anyone against you. 
so fulfill the treaty with them to the end of its term. God loves the righteous. 5. When the sacred months have passed, kill the polytheists wherever you find them. And capture them, and besiege them, and lie in wait for them at every ambush. But if they repent, and perform the prayers, and pay the alms, then let them go their way. God is most forgiving, most merciful. 6. And if any one of the polytheists asks you for protection, give him protection so that he may hear the word of God, then escort him to his place of safety. That is because they are a people who do not know. 7. How can there be a treaty with the polytheists on the part of God and his messenger, except for those with whom you made a treaty at the sacred mosque? As long as they are upright with you, be upright with them. God loves the pious. 8. How? Whenever they overcome you, they respect neither kinship nor treaty with you. They satisfy you with lip service, but their hearts refuse, and most of them are immoral. 9. They traded away God's revelations for a cheap price, and barred others from his path. How evil is what they did? 10. Towards a believer they respect neither kinship nor treaty. These are the transgressors. 11. But if they repent, and perform the prayers, and give the obligatory charity, then they are your brethren in faith. We detail the revelations for a people who know. 12. But if they violate their oaths after their pledge, and attack your religion, then fight the leaders of disbelief they have no faith so that they may desist. 13. Will you not fight a people who violated their oaths, and planned to exile the messenger, and initiated hostilities against you? Do you fear them? It is God you should fear, if you are believers. 14. Fight them. God will punish them at your hands, and humiliate them, and help you against them, and heal the hearts of a believing people. 15. And he will remove the anger of their hearts. God redeems whomever he wills. God is knowledgeable and wise. 16. Or do you think that you will be left alone, without God identifying which of you will strive, and take no supporters? 9. Repentance, at Taba, 93. Apart from God, his messenger, and the believers. God is well aware of what you do. 17. It is not for the polytheists to attend God's places of worship, while professing their disbelief. These their works are in vain, and in the fire they will abide. 18. The only people to attend God's places of worship are those who believe in God and the last day, and pray regularly, and practice regular charity, and fear none but God. These are most likely to be guided. 19. Do you consider giving water to pilgrims and maintaining the sacred mosque the same as believing in God and the last day and striving in God's path? They are not equal in God's sight. God does not guide the unjust people. 20. Those who believe and emigrate and strive in God's path with their possessions and their persons, are of a higher rank with God. These are the winners. 21. Their Lord announces to them good news of mercy from Him, and acceptance, and gardens wherein they will have lasting bliss. 22. Abiding therein forever. With God is a great reward. 23. O oh you who believe. Do not ally yourselves with your parents and your siblings if they prefer disbelief to belief. Whoever of you allies himself with them these are the wrongdoers. 24. Say, if your parents, and your children, and your siblings, and your spouses, and your relatives, and the wealth you have acquired, and a business you worry about, and homes you love, are more dear to you than God, and his messenger, and the struggle in his cause, then wait until God executes his judgment. God does not guide the sinful people. 25 God has given you victory in numerous regions, but on the day of Hunan, your great number impressed you, but it availed you nothing, and the land, as spacious as it was, narrowed for you, and you turned your backs in retreat. 26. Then God sent down his serenity upon his messenger, and upon the believers, and he sent down troops you did not see, and he punished those who disbelieved. Such is the recompense of the disbelievers. 27 Then, after that, 
God will relent towards whomever he wills. God is forgiving and merciful. 28 O you who believe. The polytheists are polluted, so let them not approach the sacred mosque after this year of theirs. And if you fear poverty, God will enrich you from his grace, if he wills. God is aware and wise. 29. Fight those who do not believe in God, nor in the last day, nor forbid what God and his messenger have forbidden, nor abide by the religion of truth from among those who receive the scripture until they pay the due tax, willingly or unwillingly. 30. The Jews said, Ezra is the son of God, and the Christians said, the Messiah is nine. Repentance, at Taba, 94 The Son of God. These are their statements, out of their mouths. They emulate the statements of those who blasphemed before. May God assail them. How deceived they are. 31. They have taken their rabbis and their priests as lords instead of God, as well as the Messiah Son of Mary. Although they were commanded to worship none but the one God. There is no God except He. Glory be to Him, high above what they associate with Him. 32. They want to extinguish God's light with their mouths, but God refuses except to complete His light, even though the disbelievers dislike it. 33. It is He who sent His messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth, in order to make it prevail over all religions, even though the idolaters dislike it. 34. O you who believe. Many of the rabbis and priests consume people's wealth illicitly, and hinder from God's path. Those who hoard gold and silver, and do not spend them in God's cause, inform them of a painful punishment. 35 On the day when they will be heated in the fire of hell, then their foreheads, and their sides, and their backs will be branded with them, this is what you hoarded for yourselves. So taste what you used to hoard. 36 The number of months, according to God, is twelve months in the decree of God since the day he created the heavens and the earth, of which four are sacred. This is the correct religion. So do not wrong yourselves during them. And fight the polytheists collectively, as they fight you collectively, and know that God is with the righteous. 37 Postponement is an increase in disbelief by which those who disbelieve are led astray. They allow it one year, and forbid it another year, in order to conform to the number made sacred by God, thus permitting what God has forbidden. The evil of their deeds seems good to them. God does not guide the disbelieving people. 38 O you who believe. What is the matter with you, when it is said to you, mobilize in the cause of God, you cling heavily to the earth? Do you prefer the present life to the hereafter? The enjoyment of the present life, compared to the hereafter, is only a little. 39. Unless you mobilize, he will punish you most painfully, and will replace you with another people, and you will not harm him at all. God has power over all things. 40. If you do not help him, God has already helped him, when those who disbelieved expelled him, and he was the second of two in the cave. He said to his friend, Do not worry, God is with us and God made his tranquility descend upon him, and supported him with forces you did not see, and made the word of those who disbelieved the lowest, while the word of nine. Repentance, at Taba, 95 God is the highest. God is mighty and wise. 41. Mobilize, light or heavy, and strive with your possessions and your lives in the cause of God. That is better for you, if you only knew. 42 Had the gain been immediate, and the journey shorter, they would have followed you, but the distance seemed too long for them. Still they swear by God, had we been able, we would have marched out with you. They damn their own souls, and God knows that they are lying. 43 May God pardon you. Why did you give them permission before it became clear to you who are the truthful ones, and who are the liars? 44 those who believe in God and the last day do not ask you for exemption from striving with their possessions and their lives. God is fully aware of the righteous. 45 Only those who do not believe in God and the last day ask you for exemption. Their hearts are full of doubts, so they waver in their doubts. 
46 Had they wanted to mobilize, they would have made preparations for it, but God disliked their participation, so he held them back, and it was said, Stay behind with those who stay behind. 47 Had they mobilized with you, they would have added only to your difficulties, and they would have spread rumors in your midst, trying to sow discord among you. Some of you are avid listeners to them. God is aware of the wrongdoers. 48. They tried to cause conflict before, and they hatched plots against you, until the truth prevailed, and the command of God became evident in spite of their dislike. 49. Among them is he who says, Excuse me, and do not trouble me. In fact, they sunk into trouble. In fact, hell will engulf the disbelievers. 50. If something good happens to you, it upsets them, and if a calamity befalls you, they say, we took our precautions in advance, and they depart, happy. 51 say, nothing will happen to us except what God has ordained for us. He is our protector. In God let the faithful put their trust. 52 say, are you expecting for us anything other than one of the two excellences? As for us, we are expecting that God will afflict you with a punishment from himself, or at our hands. So wait we are waiting with you. 53. Say, whether you spend willingly or unwillingly, it will not be accepted from you. You are evil people. 54. What prevents the acceptance of their contributions is nothing but the fact that they disbelieved in God and his messenger, and that they do not approach the prayer except lazily, and that they do not spend except grudgingly. 55. Let neither their possessions nor their children impress you. God intends to tour 9. Repentance, at Taba, 96 meant them through them in this worldly life, and that their souls depart while they are disbelievers. 56 They swear by God that they are of you. But they are not of you. They are divisive people. 57 Were they to find a shelter, or a cave, or a hideout, they would go to it, rushing. 58 And among them are those who criticize you in regard to charities. If they are given some of it, they become pleased, but if they are not given any, they grow resentful. 59. If only they were content with what God and his messenger have given them, and said, God is sufficient for us, God will give us of his bounty, and so will his messenger, to God we eagerly turn. 60. Charities are for the poor and the destitute, and those who administer them, and for reconciling hearts, and for freeing slaves, and for those in debt, and in the path of God, and for the traveler in need and obligation from God. God is all-knowing, most wise. 61. And among them are those who insult the prophet, and say, He is all heirs. Say, He listens for your own good. He believes in God, and trusts the believers, and is mercy for those of you who believe. Those who insult the messenger of God will have a painful penalty. 62. They swear to you by God to please you. But it is more proper for them to please God and his messenger, if they are believers. 63. Do they not know that whoever opposes God and his messenger, will have the fire of hell, abiding in it forever? That is the supreme disgrace. 64. The hypocrites worry lest a chapter may be revealed about them, informing them of what is in their hearts. Say, go on mocking, God will bring out what you fear. 65 If you ask them, they will say, we were just joking and playing. Say, were you making jokes about God, his messenger, and his revelations? 66 Do not apologize. You have disbelieved after your belief. If we pardon some of you, we will punish others, because they are guilty. 67 The hypocrite men and hypocrite women are of one another. They advocate evil, and prohibit righteousness, and withhold their hands. They forgot God, so he forgot them. The hypocrites are the sinners. 68 God has promised the hypocrite men and hypocrite women, and the disbelievers, the fire of hell, abiding therein forever. It is their due and God has cursed them. They will have a lasting punishment. 
69 like those before you. They were more powerful than you, and had more wealth and children. They enjoyed their share, and you enjoyed your share, as those be nine. Repentance, at Taba, 97 for you enjoyed their share. And you indulged, as they indulged. It is they whose works will fail in this world and in the hereafter. It is they who are the losers. 70 have they not heard the stories of those before them? The people of Noah, and Ayod, and Tamud. And the people of Abraham, and the inhabitants of Median, and the overturned cities. Their messengers came to them with the clear proofs. God never wronged them, but they used to wrong their own selves. 71 The believing men and believing women are friends of one another. They advocate virtue, and forbid evil. They perform regular prayers, and practice regular charity, and obey God and His messenger. These God will have mercy on them. God is noble and wise. 72. God promises the believers, men, and women, gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein forever, and find homes in the gardens of Eden. But approval from God is even greater. That is the supreme achievement. 73 O Prophet! Strive against the disbelievers and the hypocrites, and be stern with them. Their abode is hell what a miserable destination! 74 They swear by God that they said nothing, but they did utter the word of blasphemy, and they renounced faith after their submission. And they plotted what they could not attain. They were resentful only because God and His messenger have enriched them out of His grace. If they repent, it would be best for them. But if they turn away, God will afflict them with a painful punishment in this life and in the hereafter, and they will have on earth no protector and no savior. 75 Among them are those who promised God, if He gives us of His bounty, we will donate, and be among the upright. 76 But when He has given them of His bounty, they became stingy with it, and turned away in aversion. 77 So He penalized them with hypocrisy in their hearts, until the day they face Him because they broke their promise to God, and because they used to lie. 78 do they not know that God knows their secrets and their conspiracies? And that God is the knower of the unseen? 79 Those who criticize the believers who give charity voluntarily, and ridicule those who find nothing to give except their own efforts God ridicules them. They will have a painful punishment. 80 Whether you ask forgiveness for them, or do not ask forgiveness for them even if you ask forgiveness for them 70 times, God will not forgive them. That is because they disbelieved in God and His messenger. God does not guide the immoral people. 81 Those who stayed behind rejoiced at their staying behind the messenger of God. And they hated to strive with their wealth and their lives in God's way. And they said, Do not venture out in the nine. Repentance, at Taba, 98 Heat. Say, the fire of hell is much hotter, if they only understood. 82 Let them laugh a little, and weep much, in recompense for what they used to earn. 83 If God brings you back to a party of them, and they ask your permission to go out, say, you will not go out with me, ever, nor will you ever fight an enemy with me. You were content to sit back the first time, so sit back with those who stay behind. 84 You are never to pray over any one of them who dies, nor are you to stand at his graveside. They rejected God and his messenger, and died while they were sinners. 85 Do not let their possessions and their children impress you. God desires to torment them through them in this world, and their souls expire while they are disbelievers. 86 When a chapter is revealed, stating, Believe in God and strive with his messenger, the prominent among them ask you for exemption. They say, allow us to stay with those who stay behind. 87 They prefer to be with those who stay behind. Their hearts were sealed, so they do not understand. 88 But the messenger and those who believe with him struggle with their possessions and their lives. These have deserved the good things. These are the successful. 89 God has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide forever. That is the great victory. 90. 
some of the desert Arabs came to make excuses, asking to be granted exemption, while those who were untrue to God and his messenger stayed behind. A painful punishment will afflict those among them who disbelieved. 91. There is no blame on the weak, nor on the sick, nor on those who have nothing to give, provided they are true to God and his messenger. In no way can the righteous be blamed. God is forgiving and merciful. 92. Nor on those who approach you, wishing to ride with you, and you said, I have nothing to carry you on. So they went away, with their eyes overflowing with tears, sorrowing for not finding the means to spend. 93 But blame is on those who ask you for exemption, although they are rich. They are content to be with those who stay behind. God has sealed their hearts, so they do not know. 94 They present excuses to you when you return to them. Say, do not offer excuses, we do not trust you, God has informed us of you. And God will watch your actions, and so will the messenger, then you will be returned to the knower of the invisible and the visible, and he will inform you of what you used to do. 95 They will swear to you by God, when you return to them, that you may leave 9. Repentance, at Taba, 99 Them alone. So leave them alone. They are a disgrace, and their destiny is hell, a reward for what they used to earn. 96 They will swear to you that you may accept them. But even if you accept them, God does not accept the wicked people. 97. The desert Arabs are the most steeped in disbelief and hypocrisy, and the most likely to ignore the limits that God revealed to his messenger. God is knowing and wise. 98 And among the desert Arabs are those who consider their contribution to be a fine. And they wait for a reversal of your fortunes. Upon them will fall the cycle of misfortune. God is hearing and knowing. 99 Yet among the desert Arabs are those who believe in God and the last day, and consider their contribution to be a means towards God, and the prayers of the messenger. Surely it will draw them closer, and God will admit them into his mercy. God is forgiving and compassionate. 100 The pioneers the first of the migrants and the supporters, and those who followed them in righteousness. God is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. He has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, where they will abide forever. That is the sublime triumph. 101 Among the desert Arabs around you there are some hypocrites, and among the inhabitants of Medina too. They have become adamant in hypocrisy. You do not know them, but we know them. We will punish them twice, then they will be returned to a severe torment. 102 Others have confessed their sins, having mixed good deeds with bad deeds. Perhaps God will redeem them. God is forgiving and merciful. 103. Receive contributions from their wealth, to purify them and sanctify them with it, and pray for them. Your prayer is comfort for them. God is hearing and knowing. 104. Do they not know that God accepts the repentance of his servants, and that he receives the contributions, and that God is the acceptor of repentance, the merciful? 105. Say, Work. God will see your work, and so will his messenger, and the believers. Then you will be returned to the knower of secrets and declarations, and he will inform you of what you used to do. 106 others are held in suspense, awaiting God's decree, as to whether he will punish them, or accept their repentance. God is aware and wise. 107. Then there are those who establish a mosque to cause harm and disbelief and disunity among the believers, and as an outpost for those who fight God and his messenger. They will swear, our intentions are nothing but good, but God bears witness that they are liars. 108. Do not stand in it, ever. A mosque founded upon piety from the first day is worthier of your standing in it. In it are nine. Repentance, at Taba, 100 men who love to be purified. God loves those who purify themselves. 109. Is he who founds his structure upon piety and acceptance from God better, or he who founds his structure on the brink of a cliff that is about to tumble, 
so it tumbles with him into the fire of hell? God does not guide the unjust people. 110. The structure which they built will remain questionable in their hearts, until their hearts are stopped. God is knowing and wise. 111 God has purchased from the believers their lives and their properties in exchange for paradise. They fight in God's way, and they kill and get killed. It is a promise binding on him in the Torah, and the Gospel, and the Quran. And who is more true to his promise than God? So rejoice in making such an exchange that is the supreme triumph. 112. Those who repent, those who worship, those who praise, those who journey, those who kneel, those who bow down, those who advocate righteousness and forbid evil, those who keep the limits of God give good news to the believers. 113. It is not for the prophet and those who believe to ask forgiveness for the polytheists, even if they are near relatives, after it has become clear to them that they are people of hell fire. 114 Abraham asked forgiveness for his father only because of a promise he had made to him. But when it became clear to him that he was an enemy of God, he disowned him. Abraham was kind and clement. 115 God would never lead a people astray, after he had guided them, until he makes clear to them what they should guard against. God has knowledge of all things. 116. To God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He gives life, and he causes death. And besides God, you have neither protector, nor supporter. 117. God has redeemed the prophet, and the emigrants, and the supporters those who followed him in the hour of difficulty after the hearts of some of them almost swerved. Then he pardoned them. He is kind towards them, compassionate. 118 also towards the three who were left behind. Then, when the earth, as vast as it is, closed in on them, and their very souls closed in on them, and they realized that there was no refuge from God, except in him, he redeemed them, so that they may repent. God is the Redeemer, the Merciful. 119 O you who believe. Be conscious of God, and be with the sincere. 120 It is not for the inhabitants of Medina and the desert Arabs around them to stay behind the messenger of God, nor to prefer themselves to him. That is because they never suffer any thirst, nor fatigue, nor hunger in the cause of God, nor do they take one step that enrages the disbelievers, nor do they gain anything from an enemy but it is recorded to their credit as a righteous deed. God does not waste the reward of the righteous. 10 Jonah, Eunice, 101 121 Nor do they spend any expenditure, small or large, nor do they cross any valley, but it is recorded to their credit. That God may reward them in accordance with the best of their deeds. 122 It is not advisable for the believers to march out altogether. Of every division that marches out, let a group remain behind, to gain understanding of the religion, and to notify their people when they have returned to them, that they may beware. 123 O you who believe! Fight those of the disbelievers who attack you, and let them find severity in you, and know that God is with the righteous. 124 Whenever a chapter is revealed, some of them say, Which of you has this increased in faith? As for those who believe, it increases them in faith, and they rejoice. 125 But as for those in whose hearts is sickness, it adds disgrace to their disgrace, and they die as unbelievers. 126 Do they not see that they are tested once or twice every year? Yet they do not repent, and they do not learn. 127 And whenever a chapter is revealed, they look at one another, Does anyone see you? Then they slip away. God has diverted their hearts, because they are a people who do not understand. 128 There has come to you a messenger from among yourselves, concerned over your suffering, anxious over you. Towards the believers, he is compassionate and merciful. 129 If they turn away, say, God is enough for me, there is no God except he, in him I have put my trust. 
he is the Lord of the Sublime Throne. 10 Jonah, Eunice, in the name of God, the Gracious, the Merciful. 1 Olive, Lamb, R.A. These are the verses of the wise book. 2. Is it a wonder to the people that we have inspired a man from among them, warn mankind, and give good news to those who believe that they are on a sound footing with their Lord? The disbeliever said, This is a manifest sorcerer. 3. Your Lord is God, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then settled over the throne, governing all things. There is no intercessor except after his permission. Such is God, your Lord so serve him. Will you not reflect? For to him is your return, altogether. The promise of God is true. He originates creation, and then he repeats it, to reward those who believe and do good deeds with equity. As for those who disbelieve, for them is a drink of boiling water, an agonizing torment, on account of their disbelief. 5. It is he who made the sun radiant, and the moon alight, and determined phases 10. Jonah, Eunice, 102 for it that you may know the number of years and the calculation. God did not create all this except with truth. He details the revelations for a people who know. 6. In the alternation of night and day, and in what God created in the heavens and the earth, are signs for people who are aware. 7. Those who do not hope to meet us, and are content with the worldly life, and are at ease in it, and those who pay no heed to our signs. 8. These their dwelling is the fire on account of what they used to do. 9. As for those who believe and do good deeds, their Lord guides them in their faith. Rivers will flow beneath them in the gardens of bliss. 10. Their call therein is, Glory be to you, our God. And their greeting therein is, peace. And the last of their call is, praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. 11. If God were to accelerate the ill for the people, as they wish to accelerate the good, their term would have been fulfilled. But we leave those who do not expect our encounter to blunder in their excesses. 12. Whenever adversity touches the human being, he prays to us reclining on his side, or sitting, or standing. But when we have relieved his adversity from him, he goes away, as though he had never called on us for trouble that had afflicted him. Thus the deeds of the transgressors appear good to them. 13 We have destroyed generations before you, when they did wrong. Their messengers came to them with clear signs, but they would not believe. Thus we requite the sinful people. 14 Then we made you successors on earth after them, to see how you would behave. 15. And when our clear revelations are recited to them, those who do not hope to meet us say, Bring a Quran other than this, or change it. Say, It is not for me to change it of my own accord. I only follow what is revealed to me. I fear, if I disobeyed my Lord, the torment of a terrible day. 16. Say, Had God willed, I would not have recited it to you, and he would not have made it known to you. I have lived among you for a lifetime before it. Do you not understand? 17 Who does greater wrong than someone who fabricates lies about God, or denies his revelations? The guilty will never prosper. 18 And they worship, besides God, what neither harms them nor benefits them. And they say, These are our intercessors with God. Say, Are you informing God about what he does not know in the heavens or on earth? Glorified be he, high above the associations they make. 19 Mankind was a single community, then they differed. Were it not for a prior decree from your Lord, the matters over which they had disputed would have been settled. 10 Jonah, Eunice, 103 20. And they say, if only a miracle was sent down to him from his Lord. Say, the realm of the unseen belongs to God, so wait, I am waiting with you. 21 When we make the people taste mercy after some adversity has touched them, they begin to scheme against our revelations. Say, God is swifter in scheming. Our envoys are writing down what you scheme. 22 It is he who transports you across land and sea. Until, when you are on ships, sailing in a favorable wind, and rejoicing in it, 
a raging wind arrives. The waves surge over them from every side, and they realize that they are besieged. Thereupon they pray to God, professing sincere devotion to Him, If you save us from this, we will be among the appreciative. 23. But then, when He has saved them, they commit violations on earth, and oppose justice. O oh people! Your violations are against your own souls. It is the enjoyment of the present life. Then to us is your return, and we will inform you of what you used to do. 24. The likeness of the present life is this, water that we send down from the sky is absorbed by the plants of the earth, from which the people and the animals eat. Until, when the earth puts on its fine appearance, and is beautified, and its inhabitants think that they have mastered it, our command descends upon it by night or by day, and we turn it into stubble, as if it had not flourished the day before. We thus clarify the revelations for people who reflect. 25 God invites to the home of peace, and guides whomever he wills to a straight path. 26 For those who have done good is goodness, and more. Neither gloom nor shame will come over their faces. These are the inhabitants of paradise, abiding therein forever. 27 As for those who have earned evil deeds, a reward of similar evil, and shame will cover them. They will have no defense against God as if their faces are covered with dark patches of night. These are the inmates of the fire, abiding therein forever. 28 On the day when we will gather them all together, then say to those who ascribed partners, to your place, you and your partners. Then we will separate between them, and their partners will say, it was not us you were worshipping. 29. God is sufficient witness between us and you. We were unaware of your worshipping us. 30. There, every soul will experience what it had done previously, and they will be returned to God, their true master, and what they used to invent will fail them. 31. Say, who provides for you from the heaven and the earth? And who controls the hearing and the sight? And who produces the living from the dead, and produces the dead from the living? And who ten? Jonah, Eunice, 104 governs the order. They will say, God. Say, will you not be careful? 32 Such is God, your Lord the true. What is there, beyond the truth, except falsehood? How are you turned away? 33 Thus your Lord's word proved true against those who disobeyed, for they do not believe. 34 Say, Can any of your partners initiate creation, and then repeat it? Say, God initiates creation, and then repeats it? How are you so deluded? 35 Say, Can any of your partners guide to the truth? Say, God guides to the truth. Is he who guides to the truth more worthy of being followed? or he who does not guide, unless he himself is guided? What is the matter with you? How do you judge? 36 Most of them follow nothing but assumptions, and assumptions avail nothing against the truth. God is fully aware of what they do. 37 This Quran could not have been produced by anyone other than God. In fact, it is a confirmation of what preceded it, and an elaboration of the book. There is no doubt about it it is from the Lord of the Universe. 38 Or do they say, He has forged it? Say, then produce a single chapter like it, and call upon whomever you can, apart from God, if you are truthful. 39 In fact, they deny what is beyond the limits of their knowledge, and whose explanation has not yet reached them. Thus those before them refuse to believe. So note the consequences for the wrongdoers. 40 Among them are those who believe in it, and among them are those who do not believe in it. Your Lord is fully aware of the mischief makers. 41 If they accuse you of lying, say, I have my deeds, and you have your deeds. You are quit of what I do, and I am quit of what you do. 42 And among them are those who listen to you. But can you make the deaf hear, even though they do not understand? 43 And among them are those who look at you. But can you guide the blind, even though they do not see? 44. God does not wrong the people in the least, but the people wrong their own selves. 
45 On the day when he rounds them up as if they had tarried only one hour of a day they will recognize one another. Those who denied the meeting with God will be the losers. They were not guided. 46. Whether we show you some of what we promise them, or take you, to us is their return. God is witness to everything they do. 47. Every community has a messenger. When their messenger has come, judgment will be passed between them with fairness, and they will not be wronged. 48. And they say, When will this promise be fulfilled, if you are truthful? 10. Jonah, Eunice, 105. 49. Say, I have no power to harm or benefit myself, except as God wills. To every nation is an appointed time. Then, when their time arrives, they can neither postpone it by one hour, nor advance it. 50 Say, Have you considered? If his punishment overtakes you by night or by day, what part of it will the guilty seek to hasten? 51 Then, when it falls, will you believe in it? Now. When before you tried to hasten it. 52 Then it will be said to those who did wrong, taste the torment of eternity. Will you be rewarded except for what you used to do? 53 And they inquire of you, is it true? Say, yes, by my Lord, it is true, and you cannot evade it. 54 Had every soul which had done wrong possessed everything on earth, it would offer it as a ransom. They will hide the remorse when they witness the suffering, and it will be judged between them equitably, and they will not be wronged. 55 Assuredly, to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. Assuredly, the promise of God is true, but most of them do not know. 56 He gives life and causes death, and to him you will be returned. 57 O people! There has come to you advice from your Lord, and healing for what is in the hearts, and guidance, and mercy for the believers. 58 Say, in God's grace and mercy let them rejoice. That is better than what they hoard. 59. Say, have you considered the sustenance God has sent down for you, some of which you made unlawful, and some lawful? Say, did God give you permission, or do you fabricate lies and attribute them to God? 60. What will they think those who fabricate lies and attribute them to God on the day of resurrection? God is bountiful towards the people, but most of them do not give thanks. 61. You do not get into any situation, nor do you recite any Quran, nor do you do anything, but we are watching over you as you undertake it. Not even the weight of an atom, on earth, or in the sky, escapes your Lord, nor is there anything smaller or larger, but is in a clear record. 62. Unquestionably, God's friends have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. 63 Those who believe and are aware. 64 For them is good news in this life, and in the hereafter. There is no alteration to the words of God. That is the supreme triumph. 65 And let not their sayings dishearten you. All power is God's. He is the hearer, the knower. 66 Certainly, to God belongs everyone in the heavens and everyone on earth. Those who invoke other than God do not follow 10. Jonah, Eunice, 106 partners, they follow only assumptions, and they only guess. 67. It is he who made the night for your rest, and the daylight for visibility. Surely in that are signs for people who listen. 68 And they said, God has taken a son. Be he glorified. He is the self-sufficient. His is everything in the heavens and everything on earth. Do you have any proof for this? Or are you saying about God what you do not know? 69 Say, those who fabricate lies about God will not succeed. 70 Some enjoyment in this world, then to us is their return, then we will make them taste the severe punishment on account of their disbelief. 71 And relate to them the story of Noah, when he said to his people, O oh my people, if my presence among you and my reminding you of God's signs is too much for you, in God I have put my trust. So come to a decision, you and your partners, and do not let the matter perplex you. 
then carry out your decision on me, and do not hold back. 72 But if you turn away, I have not asked you for any wage. My wage falls only on God, and I was commanded to be of those who submit. 73 But they denounced him, so we saved him and those with him in the ark, and we made them successors, and we drowned those who rejected our signs. So consider the fate of those who were warned. 74 Then, after him, we sent messengers to their people. They came to them with the clear proofs, but they would not believe in anything they had already rejected. Thus we set a seal on the hearts of the hostile. 75 Then, after them, we sent Moses and Aaron with our proofs to Pharaoh and his dignitaries.